Look at that, just hosting insects. Good morning, family. Good morning, family. Don't forget, grow some trees, grow some food, grow something. Let's get started. All right, family, so this is part two. It's really windy now. I don't know what happened. It was kind of muggy and overcast looking this morning. We had thunder going and then it got super muggy and then all of a sudden the wind kicked up and it has been windy for hours. So it's starting to die down a little bit now. It's about 6.30 in the evening. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this other planter, the one that I uh, didn't remember the name, you know, the uh, apple barrel apple what is it bushel what is it called anyway so i'm going to go ahead and remove some of the soil out of that and then i'm going to be putting fresh soil in some fresh fertilizer and some worm castings and then i'm going to go ahead and put some dahlias in there and the rest of the petunias i think the only problem that i might run into with this um planter is there were bulbs down in here they didn't come up this year, so I'm kind of thinking that uh, they're no good. But um, I had a huge sweet potato vine growing in here for the past couple of years. And this past year, it just died off and it didn't come back for me. So they are annuals here, so I was really surprised that it actually lasted that long. But I had some... Um, Easter lilies in here and a couple of other ones. And like I said, they didn't come up this year. So I don't know. I'm just going to uh, not even worry about those. If I come across them, I'm just gonna leave them in there. And uh, if they come up, they come up. If they don't, they don't. But like I said, I'm gonna be removing this top layer of soil and I'm going to be replacing it with fresh soil. It's a nice little dig out, but I think I'm going to go ahead and remove more. This soil has been in here for, like I said, a few years now. I think it's about three, maybe four years. And uh, it probably needs fresh soil, a lot more nutrients in there. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and dig out a little bit more. One of the other reasons why I feel like this soil needs to be replaced is all of my soil, whether it's in containers or the raised beds or in the ground has worms in it. And I've already removed a lot of soil out of here and I haven't come across a single worm yet. So I really feel like um, this soil is definitely not healthy. As you can see, there's no life in there, no activity at all. So yeah, it needs to come out. So instead of removing the top, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take half of that out of there. Now that I've got it down to where the majority of the soil has been taken out, I am going to go ahead and fill it back in with soil and add some worm castings and some garden tone, and then I will start planting.
you guys have never used garden tools, you're in for a surprise. <laughs> it is chicken fertilizer and it smells like it. So this is a good amount of soil because I'm going to have to actually be digging stuff out to uh, put these in and then filling in around them. So these are the beautiful dahlias and um, it says they're an annual. My other ones also said they were an annual and like I said, they've lasted over a year. So I'm going to... Uh, see how long these will last you know they go dormant during the winter time and then they just came right back up so I'm hoping that these aren't some sort of hybrid that does something different than what actual dahlias do but um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these around in the center and then the rest of the petunias I'm gonna put around the edges and uh, hopefully they drape over the side so there's three plants in here. go ahead and get some in the center there so as you can see I'm not taking that bulb out of there I have the last of the pink pot petunias I'm just going to sit it there because like I said I want it to drape over the side so I'm not going to put it in too deep of these purples that are left. They need to be cleaned up. really want that solid purple all on one side so you know I think I will switch so I think I'm gonna go ahead and the striped purple here solid purple on this side and then I'll put the white back over here I think that will look a lot better. And I'm going to keep this kind of sparse for now. Sparse for now. Um, if I change my mind later, I will add more plants in. But I'm really hoping that these just kind of come up and these just spread out and over the side. So the only thing left right now is I'm just going to go ahead and add more soil back in here starting to hear thunder again so I'm gonna try to hurry up and get this done my daughter was telling me that she saw on the news where a woman and her dog were actually hit this morning by lightning out in orange I'm really hoping that uh, it's not true but she said it was on uh, ABC 7 so 
I don't know, that's pretty sad. Really sad. You know, that's not something that's all that common. I said some areas out here got rain, but we didn't get any. Not even a few sprinkles. You know what, why I'm doing this? I guess I can answer some of you guys' questions that uh, people have been asking me lately for some reason. And uh, yeah, I don't <laughs> talk on camera, I guess you could say a lot. I am kind of camera shy. People don't think that I am, but I am. And uh, I have to talk myself into getting in front of the camera. I prefer being behind the camera. But, um, I know you guys like seeing the people that are actually talking to you, so I'm working on it. I really am. Um, my name is Tanya, not Angel, as many of you guys think. It is actually Tanya Brown. And nope, that's not where I got the name from. I already had that name before I met my husband. And uh, I guess it was just meant to be. And uh, I am 54 years old. Some people think that I'm a uh, youngster and I am not. As you guys already know, I live in Southern California. No, I do not live in LA or San Diego, nor do I live by the beach. I am in the Inland Valley. It is hot here, it is dusty here. And it takes over an hour to get to LA from here. And about an hour and 45 minutes to get to San Diego. I live close to the foothills of the San Bernardino Mountains. What else do you guys want to know? I'm trying to remember all the questions. Oh, my hair. I don't know why that is an issue. My hair. My hair is naturally curly. This is my natural hair. When my hair is straight, nope, I don't wear weaves or wigs. Never have. Doubt that I ever will. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just not me. Just my hair is straightened whenever you see it down. And uh, it is curly whenever you see it short. <laughs> I mean, that's the uh, gist of it. Some people think I cut my hair. Well, I actually do. I cut my hair probably about two inches a month. But um, I still keep it generally around the same length. Just common sense should say that uh, a straight line is longer than a uh, crooked line. So when my hair is curly, it appears short. When my hair is straight, it appears longer. What's the other question you guys have? Oh, yes, I am married. Um, no, my husband does not like being on camera. I don't even think he watches my videos. <laughs> um, most of the time he works out of town. So this is why I uh, do most things on my own. When he's in town, if I need help, I'll just ask him for help, but I've kind of gotten used to doing things on my own, so I try not to bother him too much with my projects. Um, yeah, I don't know. I can't remember all of guys' questions right now, but if you have more questions, just drop them down below, and uh, I'll see if I can answer them for you. This is the finished product on this one, and I still need to stain the side of this basket. But I thought about it because if I stain this one, then I have to stain the other two that are over there also. So, not sure. I'll let you guys know if I do it or not. I'll just go ahead and do it on video, on camera. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to the back and I'm going to show you guys what these dahlias look like right now. The ones that I have growing in the backyard, they're the same as these. And I'm going to show you what they look like um, as they come up a little bit. All right, let's see came through here last night and there was uh, possums out here so but 
these are the dahlias. Do you guys see how beautiful those are? Look at these beautiful, beautiful flowers. So, I was told when I bought these that these were annuals. And uh, yeah, they're just like regular dahlias and they actually came up again for me. So I replanted them over here. I had them in a pot, so I went ahead and put them in the ground. All right, so the only thing left to do now is to water in really good, clean this stuff up, and go inside and cook dinner. If you guys didn't catch the other video, I'm trying to spend as much time as I could outside today because uh, my husband has COVID right now. So he's not doing too well, but he's a fighter and uh, he's a very strong willed. He doesn't want any medication and uh, he just wants to fight through it. So he's been laying down for most of the day. He was up talking a little while ago, but for the most part, he's uh, just toughening it out. You look a little dry. All right, so hopefully that all the way down in there and I'll be seeing it come out the bottom in a second or so and then I will be cleaning this stuff up so this planter did good for its first day all this heat and wind and uh, it stood up pretty well I think I need to add a little bit more soil on the bottom le uh, level there and uh, I think it's going to be okay too. Oh, and there's the water. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit more soil to this bottom layer and uh, water that in. And then we're going to be done. Do you guys see that sky? Look how beautiful that is. And just like that, the sky opened up. Wow. It'll probably last a second or so, and then that's going to be it. Look, it's slowing down already. So it's coming down again. Just has a few uh, lightning flashes and some thunder. And the poor little petunias are getting pelted. Rain is definitely going to be good for them. Oh, there's the lightning again. 